Th there was no commercial break. Okay. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed me here, Koizumi, is... Hold on. <laughs> sorry. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. What? Hey! No need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pico's the killer. Huh. Why? Hey, hey! Why? <sighs> That's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a freaking human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. But you're still a human, right? You're not a machine or anything? Hey. Grew up together. Okay. So how much foreshadowing was there for this? I mean, really. Because this is a big deal. No. Completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzuru clan took me in. I am nothing but a tool. Gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say. <laughs> Michi's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked... I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. So, like, I don't get it. Is Peko the actual killer and just saying, Oh, I'm a weapon, so it doesn't count. Because if that's so, then she's just going to get executed. I, I don't get it. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool. First and foremost. Doesn't matter. You, if, you're the, if you are the actual one who killed, then you're the actual one that's going to get executed. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. Okay. I think I see where this is going now. I think. Kind of. Partially. That is... But it's kind of dumb. You're wrong. You're not a tool, Pekko. Because if you are a tool... So did Fuyuhiko know about the... Here's a question. Did Fuyuhiko even plan this crime? Or did she do it of her own free will? If she did it of her own free will, then of course he doesn't count as being the murderer. But I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. No, all, all our time was nothing. Okay, great. Huh? Huh. huh. Exactly. I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist in this island, we are just fellow high school students now. Right after we were on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That's why you were hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on the island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. And what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing? I think it's the exact opposite considering how much Fuyuhiko wanted you to stop. He clearly cares about you, you dumb bitch. My young master intends to kill. It's only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill my hero wasn't you, it was Fuyuhiko? Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! Don't understand. Why is Mister in those photos? Don't fuck with me! And she, she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister's dead? You tried to confirm it with me here, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So. Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she's respond. She never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But. I'm pretty sure Mihiro was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um. Um. You know, when Mihiro spoke to Ibiki, she mentioned something about this. Aww. Sorry, I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! You're not gonna go, Mihiro? If you want to talk about it there, I'd be totally fine. Hmm. It's pretty important, so you know, it'd be trouble to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Seriously not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to talk 
someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? Definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> it's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> Should have gone too. But... It was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, for Yuhiko? If you could make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiro into a trap, right? Hey. By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? What the heck? <laughs> An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here... Damn it! No choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... My young master thought of a plan and executed it. I want to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing that person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed me here with the bat? So he's the killer, right? It's Fuyuhiko, not Peko? Because this hasn't been fully explained yet. Yeah. I believed her up till the very last minute. The game was just a work of fiction. Even so, that bitch! Hey! If that game is actually real, are you the one who killed girl E? Why, you? I don't want to hear about that! But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl! We don't even know if she did! He did! Okay, now, okay, eh. You were kind of asking for it. No offense, I'm here. Shut the hell up! Crazy about that. Just ask her. Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You have no right to do that! Uh, really? We don't even know. He doesn't. He wouldn't even know! Okay, Mahiro, I'm sorry. You were asking for it. No offense. I wanted you to live, but you, you kind of brought it on yourself. I mean, has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. No shit. Even after I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with the plan. But then she had to be a dumbass. Damn it, Mahiru. You were cool, but you were kind of too headstrong for your own good. Yeah. She said that to me. That all went out the window. Really got pissed and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment... <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, so we're all fine then. Peckle's gonna die, everyone else will live. I guess. Huh? What? Young master, I am finished. Oh, uh, why did... Why did Fuyuhiko say huh? I don't get it. I'm very confused. Is this still part of the trap? But Monokuma would know. What? Are you saying you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course. Of course you understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. You're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> Take that, Monokuma. Yes, indeed. I'll be quiet. <laughs> uh, afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tempt her with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make it. You said that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes. But if you're actually the killer, then you're just going to get executed and everyone else will live. Like, seriously, that's how it's going to happen. We fell for it. We fell for a trick all along. <laughs> That's right, you guys have made the wrong decision, except we really haven't. You voted me a mere tool as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. Orders don't matter! Who kills is the killer! Isn't that how. That's how this works! Right, Monokuma? That's obviously wrong! Act like our loss has been decided yet! No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, all this talking about Peko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive! Oh, shut the fuck up. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense if Fuyuhiko's actually the true killer. <sighs> hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see. So for Peko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then? On his behalf, you killed Mihiru, 
and now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. I have no hope, I'm just... You're clearly a tool. No, no, sorry. You scratch that, reverse it. You're clearly a human if you're going this far to protect him, and he's trying so hard to stop you. <laughs> a tool? <sighs> well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then. So I'm gonna ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Pico just a tool to you? Uh-uh. <laughs> He's gonna condemn Pico. Using that tool, surrounded by sacrificing Pico and the rest of us. <laughs> Is that your hope? What? Uh. Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Ooh. Jeez. Pico, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuhiko of your own free will? Take that, bitch. Hey. Can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Or is that is that really the truth? Huh? I, I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know you hate our guts, but... Huh? If you listen to Pico, we're all gonna die! Yeah. I... I... You just have to tell the truth. You're not gonna want to hear the truth, bitch. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... If it's not true, Pico, your whole story goes out the window, and Monokuma would know, wouldn't he? Fuyuhiko. You mentioned this before, but... This kind of situation, interacting with others just shortens your lifespan. Those idiots, Pyaki and Terra Terra, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's... My time to kill. You're still saying that? Of course. Sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <sighs> Take that. Young Master! There's no need to hesitate. Young Master, please just tell them the truth. This is dumb! She's the killer! You were the one who ordered me! I just did as I was told because I'm a tool! Even if that's true, you're still the killer! But if it's not true, then you're doubly not the killer. Hmm. I mean, you doubly are the killer! It, I don't know, words! This trial just ended already! This could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way you'll still lose Peko, but... Hey. If you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pico and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! Guy! Young master, I am finished. You? What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Okay, in that case, yeah, she's the killer. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! If you defy an order, then you're clearly not a tool. There is no way I cannot worry about you. Well, then you're not a tool. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. You're just contradicting yourself. If you're told not to worry about him, you don't worry about him. If that doesn't happen, then you're not a tool. Without an owner, a tool serves no purpose. Shut up. You're a human being. God, she's annoying. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides... I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then... why did you... I have a plan. 
Huh? A plan? Didn't Monokuma see this with surveillance cameras? If that's the case, then what is the point of all this? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please tell me the truth. Sorry. Sorry, Pico. I guess I couldn't go through with this after all. No master! Take that, bitch. Man! I don't like her at all. I'm a disgrace. If that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. If I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given me by the Kazuryu clan. Young master. <laughs> oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad. And here I thought I'd be more brutal than heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means, everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why you? There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma, you know how long, didn't you? Of course you did. He just wanted to see everyone fuck with each other. You knew about what Pekko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Come on, Nagito. You do that too. Even if an act is his pression, Pekko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try, try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> Too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool of the heart, is the killer. Sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't fill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the ch chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. What? Huh? Exactly, huh? Young master. You have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. Oh my god, just shut up. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. This is my narrator voice. This is what I use when I just don't care. I believe you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. Uh, yay, there's your happy face. Ha ah, ha, I don't care. What? Then why? Even so, I wanted you to escape. Well then how about this? Let Fuyuhiko be the killer, and then do that whole act, and you, he would have gotten away with it. Granted, you know, oh, then he was a killer. Or, how, where am I going with this? Oh, you didn't want him to sully his hands, or... I don't know. I don't know. You could have... Okay, I, maybe that was it. You didn't want him to sully his hands, but you easily... He easily could have gotten away with it if you just let him do the killing blow. Wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I'll not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, Avita and goodbye. <sighs> Sorry for what I've done to you all, too. No, you're not. Maybe a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. No, Mihiro is one of my favorite characters, and Fuyuhiko is currently my least favorite character. And considering the only reason you killed him, presumably, is because he was about to kill her. Um, no, fuck you and fuck him. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. She might have been asking for it, but that doesn't matter. He still did it. Kind of. Sort of. And you did it. Fuck you both. Both be executed. Of course. Not. There's still at least a few more chapters. <laughs> I'm not crying. I wasted a free time on you. That's all I'm sad about. That will do. Monokuma, why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. 
Let me guess, you're gonna start uh, crying before your death or something, or sweating. So cool! Will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> Let's begin! Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Not to call me young master, yeah. Mm. I want you to remember. The two Peko Peko Yama who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. Ugh. <laughs> I don't care. For, okay, regardless, I don't think this case was very good. Especially not compared to case one. Case one dwarfs this a lot. However, how much foreshadowing was there for Peko and Fuyihiko being related? Like, if there was some that I just didn't see, let me know. Makes this case a little better, but it's still not that good. I don't even want to call it good at all. Yeah. How many times do you have to keep? I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. Then let's begin! The punishment time brewing of despair! Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills! Chills! Kills! This time for the ultimate sword to win Peko Peko Yama! Why... You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I... Never needed a sword or a shield. I never needed a tool, so... You just wanted a friend, isn't that right? You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Oh, I might feel a little sadder for this, but freaking with you! Fuck you guys! Young master? Saw this coming. Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! And this was obvious. Let's go! It's punishment time! For once, it's the girl who didn't see the obvious signs, <laughs> instead of the other way around. Please, Peko. Don't go! Too bad, so sad. I need you! Don't leave me! Eh, it's a bit sad, but not that much. Young master? Boo-hoo. Young master. I'm really not that sad. <laughs> Game over. Peckle has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Of course, he has to be in the background. Doesn't look like she's the one being executed. Wait, Fui Hiko, what? Oh, is he a trap? Oh, no. Or yes? Or... Or what? Or... Huh? Wait, what? Is Fui Hiko dead? I don't think so. He looked just a bit cut up, but... That's weird. That is impossible. 
Is Figo dead? Like, really? People dying so easily. Falling like dominoes. You bastard, what is this? He looks like he was just a bit scratched. Is he actually dead? Fun story. Um, I had to cut recording between, uh, like, like a little, a little before the execution, I had to stop recording. And I actually joked, uh, to my brother, I was like, I wish they was just double execution. I hate both of them. Did it actually happen? This is a lie, right? Back up! Eh. For reals? Such a waste. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why I should have just discussed it with me. You mean he should have? He really did. He really was the one who was going to. She just got in the way, is how I took it. Of course, he might not have been able to get, go through with it. He seems like a pansy, but I don't know. Damn it. It was supposed to be a clash between two hopes. It was crushed into something so un. Paltable. Uh, oh no, if Nagito's sad about it, it's gotta be terrible. Oh. You're still talking about that? You. Hell's wrong with you. Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such despair. I am pissed. I even feel sad and hopeless. But still. Isn't that right? It's gonna be alright. This despair is worthless. Because we can triumph it. It's just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. Yes, Malakuma versus Nagito. Crazy hope versus regular kind of ultimate despair. Because you can't really call it crazy despair. If it was crazy despair, then I guess it would be happiness. I don't know. <laughs> In a way... Your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. You mean Makoto? Ooh boy! Ooh boy! Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Anyway, I should make a declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> hope will crush your despair. <laughs> Even if it has to be evil to do so. Then how's it hope? Shut up! <laughs> the hopes of all the ultimates here will completely, definitely, utterly crush you. There won't be even a shred of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even if we go die, you know. Is that for real life? Did that actually happen? Not yet. He's still alive. That's both okay, but oh, really? <laughs> At the same time. Because I didn't like him. And also, I'm sick of him having no free times, namely having a stupid Yakuza present. But also... I'd, it would have been weird. What? Everyone! Now that I'm at this point, though, honestly, I wish he was dead as well! Come on! You serious? <laughs> what he said. Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. Ah, uh, he looks pretty fucked up. You can thank Pekko for that. <laughs> he, he, he's still... He, he's still breathing. Aww. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll get better. This might be when he has character development. Probably. But, uh... This probably could have been a lot better if the case was just better. But, meh. Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Is he gonna die? No, I think if they're at this point, he's not gonna die. Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm. Well, serves him right. You're so stupid. Were you filled with the hope and the thought of saving yourself? That's why he ended up like that. For reals? Is he gonna, like, be alive but then die off? That would probably be the coolest thing. Like, okay, that would be sad. But but that's why it would be cool. You stupid brother. 
What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it! A surprise order? What the heck? What do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? That's wrong. It's your duty to save him. Huh? Duty? Hey, hey. Because it's written in the school trip rules. If the Blackhands explode during the trial, they alone will be executed. If only the Blackhead gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> if I could, I'd do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey! You should be able to do it! Unbelievable. Gasp! Foiled by my own rules. Fine, fine. No way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Like... I was actually gonna do that all wrong, so I've already prepared for this. <laughs> wow, he just wanted to fuck with us, as always. Hmm? Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere. And gradually grew closer and closer. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! Um, okay. Dr. Kilgood, you've already killed your patients. Well, not all of them. We've got to get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. See you, Monokuma. Have fun. After he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Is it really going to be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Anyone else probably wouldn't be able to do anything. Damn it. Can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's going to be fine. He's probably going to get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely going to come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Mm. Then all we can do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused me his death, you know. Eh, I kind of feel the same way, but to be fair, she did egg him on, and also, who knows if he actually would have been able to go through with it. In the end, it was Pekoyama's fault. However... We must put that aside, since Peko has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We can't not return to what has already transpired. There is no other way to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> You know, Gundam, you say some pretty cool things sometimes. I thought you were just kind of dumb for a while, but I, I might actually have another free time with you. I was thinking about just ditching him, but nah. He seems kind of cool, I guess. D damn it! I guess. Things aren't exciting if a shit stir like him ain't around. <laughs> I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyahika! From the bottom of my balls! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. And so the class trial ended. We still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will happen have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, nor even not even a speck. But I have a crystal ball! Is that going to be like some kind of special thing, maybe? I'm not sure if that's one of the special items or not, but it's listed near all of them when I was checking in the items. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there alone. And the one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. How many days left? What do we got? How many days? 15 days! Oh shit! What is that counting down to? If not the destruction of the island, then what? M Monami? You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown too? Are you talking to the characters or the player? Four people are already gone! Yes. We took our time preparing the hope fragments. 
But now we're no longer able to gather them. What do you mean? Yes, we are. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Not sure about what? Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. Who are you talking to? Oh, maybe the traitor? Maybe there's a traitor working for Monami. That's, that's a possibility. Better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. Because, you know, the outside world went to shit. But, everyone already knows that now. Or at least, they've been told that. They don't know if it's true or not. For those kids, which option is hope, and which is despair? Well, if you get rid of Monokuma, then staying would probably be the hopeful thing. But, I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero... Do you know what's going to happen when it reaches zero? Because before, you said you didn't. Were you a lying bitch? That guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. That guy, as in Monokuma. And what is your plan's final stage? What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? You mean Junko? What? <clears throat> Okay, I don't think you're going to be doing resurrection plots in this game. Um, I'm going to assume that's not it. Unless you mean, you know, destroying the world again. Maybe? And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What even was that? We still don't fully understand what that was. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. I wouldn't be surprised if Nagito was your spy. Because for one thing, you were the one who let him out, and he also is craving hope. It's just a twisted kind of hope, but hope nonetheless. Well, that's the end of this one. See you guys in the next part, guys.